So we need to install a bit of software before we can get started, and none of it is terribly difficult to get. So we'll start with Node.js, and you may already have a version, but you want to make sure you have a recent version of Node.js. So you go to the site that you see right here, nodejs.org, and there's a link to this in the course resources, and you're going to want to download the LTS version. You can do this version if you wish, but I'm going to use this. I'm a big fan of long-term releases of software. So download that and install it. I already have it installed, so it's not necessary for me to show you how that works, and I'm sure you can figure that out. And the second thing you're going to want to get is an IDE. And I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. And it exists for Windows, for Linux, and for Mac. So download and install that. And we'll do some configuration of it in a bit. But for right now, just get it installed. And that'll be sufficient for our purposes today. Now, once you have Node installed, you can verify that it actually is installed by switching to either your command prompt on Windows or a terminal on Mac. And just type Node dash V, like that, and it will tell you what version is installed. And similarly, you should be able to run npm dash V, and it should show you that you have a recent version of that installed. So once you have those installed, let's move on and install a database, and then an add-on to the database that will allow us to have some additional functionality.